Welcome back to Good Day. While we want to have said we worked out over the holidays, I, I did. I um, worked out. We're very careful about <laughs> what we ate. That is where I, I, I didn't, I didn't do all of that. I think I did okay. Good for you. I'm not trying to brag or anything. I'm just saying I did. Okay. I, wor I worked out. I know. <laughs> that was it. So I know that's not the case for everyone. <laughs> yeah. So we want to help you out. And, you know, it's beneficial for us to start slow. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing slower than working out from the comfort of your favorite chair mm -hmm. or even at your desk at work. Yeah. So Taylor from Pillar Fitness can help us do just <laughs> that this morning. Good morning Good to you, Taylor. Morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you. It's been a while. Uh, it's been too long. I missed you, Steven but you look fantastic. Been the gym Thanks. in a minute no. <laughs> I've, been, I've been working out I've been working out at home uh -huh. um, and With I found tools. it yeah really beneficial and I've learned a lot from you and uh, you're here to teach us even more Taylor and yeah. many people they're setting goals they have those new year resolutions so uh, they want to get fit yeah. and you say take it slow you can do it right from work yeah take it slow my biggest thing I want to tell people is let's not look too far in advance day by day and take it slow and the biggest thing we have to think about is not being sedentary so what happens in our day-to-day -day routine especially for an office job or something along those lines mm -hmm. is we're sitting for hours upon hours and it's just our our productivity falls apart and our metabolism drops mm -hmm. so what I want to challenge everybody to do is get up and move and if it's setting a timer on your phone to say hey if I'm gonna work for 45 minutes and I'm gonna move for 15 minutes you're gonna be more productive at work but you're also gonna feel better as well and you're gonna be able to make better decisions when we sit stagnant our mind starts to slow down my blood flow starts to decrease my metabolism completely drops and we just become lazy, we kind of sluggish, we start getting distracted easily. Yeah. But simply moving around kind of regulates and puts you back into that base of where mm. you need to be. Because you always notice we start every beginning of every day, you're like, I'm gonna kill it today, it's gonna be a great day. <laughs> and by like 11 o'clock, you're like, man, is it lunch time? Because right. yeah. you sat for so long. Mm -hmm. But if we're moving around um, and we're taking those breaks to just kind of clear your mind and just move, you're gonna be so much more beneficial. Yeah, so a nice mm -hmm. tip there. If, yeah. if you don't have a smartwatch right. to and remind mine you. Mine will beep yeah. at me you know 10 minutes before the end of the hour to say you didn't get your 250 steps in uh, yeah. this hour and I'm pretty good about doing it you know but you could just set a timer or something yeah, just set a timer every, yeah, yeah absolutely and I think like this is something I believe that businesses will start to really dive into mm -hmm. is their health of their employees mm -hmm. is very beneficial and I feel like we've been pushing different things to such as medicines and stuff like that instead of pushing health and wellness and mm -hmm. moving movement is such an incredible tool and that we don't take advantage of it. So by simply allowing your employees or allowing yourself to have that time to say, hey, I'm going to get up and move for 10 minutes of every hour is just going to do a world of difference for everybody. Yeah, love that because something that uh, has been incorporated here, mm -hmm. we now have standing desk. So yes. that helps out a lot. Mm -hmm. So we can, I, I stand usually half of my day and sit for the second half, which is really nice and beneficial. Uh, but for some folks, maybe they don't have that standing desk. What can they do at their desk, Taylor? Uh, just to move around a little bit and just get a, a brief workout. There's so many things we can do, and it just really depends on what kind of space you have, but you also don't want to look like a goofball. Right, you don't either. want to be I mean, that like, guy. Grab your dumbbells like, and be like, yeah, look at me, right? <laughs> right. So um, I think the biggest thing what you can do is, especially if you have a chair that moves up and down, mm -hmm. is simply lower your chair as low as you can get it. Okay. okay. And then sit down in your chair and stand back up. Can and you maybe, demonstrate for yeah, us? Yeah, absolutely. So if this, this here, all I'm going to do is just sit down, and just stand back up, super easy. So it's like you're doing a squat. Yeah, it's like you're doing a squat and you're sitting down in your chair okay. and it's just making you move a little bit. So if I don't have the opportunity to get up and walk, maybe mm -hmm. I'm stuck to my desk, I gotta be you know, on call all the time. Simply just doing that. Maybe you're saying, hey, I'm gonna do 20 of those every hour or something along those lines. It's just simple, it's easy, but it gets you from this sitting position mm -hmm. right, to, hey, I'm gonna stand up and do this and then I'm gonna come back down. And it might seem like nothing at all, it but it's- your heart yeah, it does, like, and it's yeah. 20 more today than you did yesterday. 100%, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, you know, you talk about those goals, and like, I'm going to do 20 of these an hour or, mm -hmm. or whatever. You know, how do people remind themselves of what their goals are? Do you have any strategies? Like, do you put a post-it note on your on your desktop? Like, how, how do you keep focused, and how do you stick to those goals? I think that's awesome. Like, definitely put a post-it note. Write them down. If they're in front of you written, you're going to be successful. Mm -hmm. If you say, hey, I want to do this. I want to accomplish X, Y, and Z, and it's not in front of you, 
you're not going to be successful. You're going to forget about it. You're going to get distracted. Life's going to get in the way. But if something you're constantly looking at is constantly reminding you, you're going to say that's important to me and that's going to make you better. Hmm. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Good advice there. Yeah. So you, you did a, a little squat on your chair. Yeah, um, and <laughs> yeah there we go. Yeah. There we go. And then you can just get lower and lower and uh -huh. maybe maybe you get rid of the chair and you just squat down too as well. So there's uh -huh. different things we can do Hey, that but way. if you're wearing a suit, yeah. don't go too low. <laughs> might rip you don't your want pants. to break anything. <laughs> yeah, that could that could be a whole different situation. Uh, luckily, Taylor's <laughs> going to be with us here for the for the next few weeks. Yes. So Stephen and I are going to be a little bit more prepared. We're going to mm -hmm. a little more of the. Got a lot of questions for you right. too. Oh. Just perfect. Stick with us the next few weeks on Thursdays, and we're gonna we're gonna show you some mm -hmm. uh, some more advice. Um, but we we do want to get people. You got to get your mind right, yes. and you and you got to start small, as mm -hmm. you mentioned too. So yeah. we're getting we're trying to set the stage for you. Yes, we are. So Taylor, yeah. thanks so much really appreciate it mm -hmm. and looking forward to uh, working out a little bit more. Yeah, absolutely. I'm excited. This is going to be awesome. Yes, we're yes. going to do it. Okay. Getting pumped up for it. Woo. Well, still to come on Good Day, it's time to ask us. From curly hair to embarrassing moments, Stephen Kaylee and I have answers to your questions when Toledo's longest running 9 a.m. show continues. Good Day is back in a moment. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs>